Hi guys, Nicole Herrick here with another Wix tutorial. A lot of people have been asking me lately, how do I uh, add store pages and change the location or the, the clickability of my main store page? So I've just grabbed one of the basic online store templates from Wix. And if I hover here, I can see these little, um, little boxes over here shows me that this is a store page. If you don't already have a store page in the current template that you're using, all you need to do is, uh, sorry, let me do that again, add a store element. So if it's not here, you can go to the app market and search for the Wix stores app. Okay, and then add that, and then you'll have this little option over here to be able to add elements. So at the moment, if I go to preview so I can see what's happening, it's only got one um, store page and it's just clickable and there's no sort of sub pages or anything like that. And if I go home, um, there's just a link to it here and it's just all of the products in here. But what I wanna do is create a non-clickable header that's called shop online and then have my sub categories underneath. Okay, so the way to do that is to add a page but choose menu header okay so let's call this one shop online okay i'm going to click done so these little three bars just here denote that this is a menu header and then it's not clickable but you can put sub pages under it okay so now what i want to do is create a new oh sorry we want to make this a sub page so to make it a sub page all i need to do is click on these little dots right here drag this to the right underneath here say for example if it was actually down here uh oh, oh it doesn't want to go down sorry no matter where it is in the order you can actually bring it up to your subheader here. You can make a sub page um, below any of these pages but this one is just uh, we want to use this because we don't want this to be a clickable page we just want to have sub pages underneath. So if I go to preview now you can see that if I hover over this we have a sub page here that's clickable but this heading is not clickable which is what we want. Okay Oops, let's go to pages again now, usually um, you would want to be able to duplicate the page, but because this is a store page, we can't actually duplicate it. So we need to make one page that's the same as this first. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add a new page, just a regular page, and I'm going to call this earrings. Okay, actually that's not how you spell earrings. <laughs> Done. Okay, and I'm going to add this as a sub page underneath my collections page. So what I want to do is grab the heading from here, if I'm happy with the way that this font is. So I'm going to copy tools, oh sorry, uh, where do you copy on this one? Oh, here we go. Copy, which is control C, if you're doing shortcuts. And then we want to go to our earrings page click on the page and then press paste and it's going to paste it in the exact same position. Now we want to add the store element as well. So you can't actually copy and paste this one. What we need to do is go to our store panel, click get started. And one thing that I noticed is that it kind of goes back to your first page that you created. So let's click out of there and go back to the earrings page it's a little bit annoying i don't know why it does that so we're on the earrings page i'll just actually change this um, to say earrings so that that helps me figure out whether i'm on earrings or collection page and now i want to add a store element so add store elements and i'm going to add a product the grid product gallery so i just drag that on wait for it to load and then let's move that into place. Okay. 
and we can actually resize the store element here if we want to but I'm just going to leave that where it was and one thing that I want to make sure of is that this is sitting at the same height as the other one so to make sure that that's right I'm going to go to my collection page and I will click on this store element and I can see that it sits at a height of C. Y is 244. So this is the height on the actual page. Earrings, click on the element. What was it? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> 244, sorry. Click on the element. 244, hit enter. All right, so now it's in exactly the same spot as my other one. Okay, so now this is going to be the page that we're able to duplicate. Now you can also add some other elements on this page before you start duplicating them. You might want some breadcrumbs, which are just some little text links to sort of go back to the main page or the another page. You could add a little um, checkout button over here if you wanted. So instead of having it up here in the footer, you could move that down to here so it's just on the shop pages. Um, you could add any anything else you would like. You, you can change this to be the right font that you want, anything at all. So now we're going to use this as our template page. So what I want to do is go down to here to the earrings page and I'm going to duplicate. And this page is going to be called necklaces. Oops. Necklaces. Done. And so I've got it here, but it still says earrings. So to make it easier for myself, so I don't get confused about where I am, change the header straight away. Okay, and I'm also going to duplicate that and create another page that is called oops, bracelets. Okay, done. Okay, and I'll change the header straight away. Okay, good. So now I have bracelets, necklaces, earrings, and I've got this one which was originally called collection, but I'm going to rename this one to be all. I might put shop. Actually, I'll make that lowercase. Uh, rename. Shop all. Just being such a bad typist. Okay. So now when I go preview, I have a non-clickable link here, shop all, earrings, necklaces, bracelets. Okay, let's go back to the editor. I can also reorder these if I would like. So I might say, look, necklaces is more important. So I just click and drag up the position. Okay, so at this stage, um, we want to have added some products into our store. Uh, so if I go to, sorry, if I go to our store tab and then store manager, oh sorry, manage your store, and then so I've, with this template it's given me some products already in there so I'm just kind of utilizing those, uh, but what I want to do, uh, so if you haven't already added some products, um, you can add your products all at this stage. I'm just going to use the ones that the template came with. So I want to go to collections and you can see that it's given me sort of a default all products and then a new collection that has all the products in it as well. So this one I want to actually make my necklaces collection. So I'm going to call this necklaces. Okay. And I am going to delete anything that is not a necklace. There we go. There are my necklaces and I'm going to click save. So here we go, we've got necklaces. Now I'm going to add another collection called bracelets. Okay, and I'm going to add some products. So anything that is a bracelet. Okay, add and save. So we'll just, just don't worry about that for the moment because the way I'm teaching you, you don't really need to add it this way. 
and then one more for the earrings. Okay, add some products, and it will just be the earrings. And that's all the earrings I have, and save. Okay, and just cancel that. All right, so we have our collections now, so I want you to close out of the um, shop manager. And all right, so the pages I'm on is necklaces. I want to assign the necklaces to this particular element. Okay, so I want to click on it once and click settings. And this brings up um, an options panel. And I want to, so it comes up with collection and I want to change the collection to necklaces. And voila, we have just the necklaces. Okay, you'd also change the, um, the way that the products look with this one. Um, swap image is quite a good new feature that they have. You can add filters, you can add sorting, quick view. Um, so that's really good, all the new features. Now I'm going to go to my other pages. Shop All already has Shop All assigned. I can show you that by just going here. So it's got all products assigned to this collection. And this is meant to say All Shop all. I just don't want that to be called collection anymore. So we'll go to the earrings page. Spell it wrong. <laughs> Click on this once and choose settings and assign the earrings collection. And up come my earrings. Go to our bracelets page. Click on it once, settings, and assign our bracelets. Okay, there we go. Okay, now what I want to do is add some clickable links on the home page to get to these different collections. So if I go to my home page, so at the moment um, it doesn't really have much other than a slider gallery on the home page. But what I want to do is add some visual buttons or links if you like. So I'm going to move this down and I'm going to add an image. Okay, so let's go and upload some images to use as our visual buttons. Okay, so I've just got an empty folder here that I'm going to put them into and upload images. And I've created three images already. So I'm just going to upload those. Should just take a few seconds. And we are done. Okay, so I'm going to take the tick off that because I'm going to use the necklaces one first and add to site. Okay, so I've got my first visual one here. I'm going to drag this down so I've got some space. And I'm going to pop this just here. Now I'm going to make this my template. So what I want to do is add a button to this. So add button. And I can just choose one that sort of roughly looks like I want. So I kind of want just a rectangular one that I'm going to spread all the way across the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to change the color because it doesn't match with my website. So customize design. Don't want it to be a gradient button, just a really plain color. But I'm going to make the background white and just drop down that opacity maybe about 50-ish percent. And I'm going to change the text color to black. And the font is disgusting, but don't worry about that. I'm just going to make it a small heading instead. Okay, and the hover, just see what that is. It's gray. Maybe I'll just make that purple. Okay. All right, so now that we have this one ready, what I want to do is I'm going to make this one link to the right place first. So, oops, necklaces. Sorry, terrible typist. Okay, add a link, and I'm going to add, uh, link this to the necklaces page. Alrighty, that's done. And also, I'm going to link the image as well. So I click on the image. And where's my link? Here's with my link button. And this is going to also link to the necklaces page. Okay. So now I have my very first template. Um, actually, I'm going to take the shadow off that because that looks silly. No shadow. Clean. 
All right, so now I want to select these two elements and I'm going to copy and paste. There we go, and I have my next one. Put that in the center of the page. So now I'm going to change this image to my bracelets and I'm going to change the link and it's going to be linked to bracelets. And I'm going to change the button and it's going to be called bracelets and it's going to be linked to bracelets. Done. Okay, and now I'm going to select both elements, copy, paste, go. And I'm going to just click the image, change this to uh, earrings, choose. There we go, link it to earrings. Okay, change the button, double click, earrings, apologies if I haven't spelt that correctly. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to go into preview and just show you how this all works. Okay, so in the menu I have a non-clickable header with sub pages that are clickable. So I can go necklaces and it shows me the necklaces page. If I go back to home, I want to show you the visual buttons that we created for the home page. So if I click on necklaces, it takes me to the necklaces. And this is the swap image feature that's quite cool. And if I go to earrings and I just click on the image rather than the button, it will still take me to earrings. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. Um, if you've got more questions for me, give me a shout. And if I have time, I'll make a tutorial for you.